parallel so we have been asked to perform the binary subtractions ready for some binary borrowing chain reaction this problem looks intimidating but it's actually just the same simple rule repeated watch how the borrow wave flows through the number and to do so i will consider this as munin and this one as subtrahend but before that one i will recall our regular or ordinary subtraction our base 10 this one is munute and this one is subtrahend subtraction is always for farm column wise that is why i have to subtract 6 from 2 which is impossible that is why i have to go to next column and i will take one borrow and when i take one borrow from next column to act your column it is equal to 10 so 10 plus 2 will give us 12 this one will become 12 and now this one will be left to 12 minus 6 will give me 6 now i have to subtract 7 from 2 which is impossible that is why i have to go to next column and i will borrow 1 and as i told you that borrowing 1 from next column to actio or present column and decimal is equal to 10 and 10 plus 2 will give me 12 now 12 minus 7 will give me 5 and this has been left with 3 now 3 minus 1 will give me 2 now the bottom line is this that borrowing 1 and decimal are a base 10 give us 10 in actio or present column as these numbers are a base 10 similarly these are binaries and it is a base 2 that is why borrowing one from next column will give us two in present column let's do this like we have subtract one from zero which is impossible that is why i have to go to next column which is also zero so i will have to go further for one and here i don't have one so i will go to this one now here i will borrow one so i will left with zero and one will be borrowed to this one that will be equal to two now i will borrow one from this two to this column so borrowing one from this column this one will be left with one and one will be borrowed to this column but as i told you that borrowing one from next column to ictio column or lower column that will be equal to two now i have to borrow one from this column to this column so this two will become one and here borrowing one from this column will be equal to 2 now so 2 minus 1 will give me 1 1 minus 1 will give me 0 1 minus 0 will give me 1 and now i have 0 minus 1 so i will go to this column and here it will give me 1 so i will be left with 0 and 1 of this column will be equal to 2 in this column 2 minus 1 will be equal to 1